What is up all my favorite people of the internet? My name is EmightyBudCrab and today I have a, a little list compiled here of some of the things I don't particularly care for. Now I wrote some of the things I thought of over the past few days I'm just going to share them. Number one is pro bowling players. And what I mean by that is if when I'm invited you know to go out or I'm going bowling or something right and uh, I walk up to the lanes you know the bowl my sorry ass 39 and 10 frames you know I'm having a good time or whatever and there's always that one fella you, you, you'll know you know what I'm talking about who's like oh you gotta you gotta throw the ball like this or you gotta stand like this or or, or you need, your ball's too heavy you need to get a lighter one or your ball's too light you need to get a heavier one it's like shut up I don't see no fucking bowling trophies in your room okay just let me bowl my, my 39 and 10 frames that's all I want Number two is Ligma type jokes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, funny story. Uh, about a, a week. When, when that first started getting popular, haha ha, funny, you know, the Ligma joke. Uh, one of my buddies texted me. And I was out of the loop. I didn't know what Ligma was. And he, had, he said to me, he goes, You hear uh, Ninja from Fortnite got Ligma? And, uh, well... You see, I didn't know what Ligma was, but I didn't want to sound stupid, so all I said in response was, Oh, well, that's too bad now, isn't it? Is he okay? I dodged a bullet. Like, I felt like, after I learned what Ligma was, I felt like Keanu Reeves in the Matrix, you know, like, Neil the One ain't got nothing on me. I, I felt real smart after that one. Anyway... Uh, third one on here is game or people who claim that games are dead slash dying like you'll see any game literally any game Google any game I don't care there will always be an article where it's like oh the yeah, this game uh, is getting unpopular you know this game is dying it's losing players it's going to shut down servers are going down whatever like I recently got into um, Counter Strike Global Offensive. I've been having a lot of fun playing that, and you know I looked up to see if it was still a popular game. I didn't want to waste my time on something that wasn't popular. And I've seen three or four of those articles claiming that the game's over, it's dead. People are packing up, leaving, going to like Valorant or something else. And then I checked the numbers on Steam. It's another. It was the number one most popular game on Steam with almost half a million players, with almost a million players at the. Uh, peak for that day so you know very far from dead and I don't know I don't, we gotta be a doomer for her or whatever number four people who lean forward like a like a fucking chicken when arguing that's what I have written down uh, I guess you know like you you get into a little debate and I think I know what I was talking about people you were like you know, hold the finger up and lean forward. That pisses me off, not gonna lie. Uh, the next number is people who complain out loud, but indirectly. Like, I don't know, say you don't like the color of my room or whatever, and you were beside me. Uh, just, just an example, you'd be like, instead of telling me, hey, your room's ugly, you'd be like, man, I don't like this paint. Because I'm better job with this paint. And that's kind of a silly example, but you know what I'm talking about. It's like, if you have a problem with something I'm doing, tell me. Because if you just say get out to the clouds, I'm not going to listen. Uh, this one's pointed. Friends who don't get online slash don't respond. Like, I get it. People are busy. You know, I, I got things I got to do. You got things you got to do, like subscribe to my YouTube channel. But, um, like, I it text you up. It's like, hey, man, I'm... I'm home, wanna play this game, or I'm I'm on my way home when I wanna do something when I get home. Oh yeah, sure, that sounds like fun. Sounds like a real blast now, don't it? And you know, you get home, you get on Discord or God forbid TeamSpeak or whatever you use, and you at them, you message them. Maybe maybe you wanna be subtle and you add everybody in Discord. Uh and ten minutes go by. In twenty minutes, and then thirty minutes. And then before you know it, you're st uh, stuck here with nothing to do. And they're like, oh, I had to, um, to do something else.
It was like, well, I get it, but you know, you could have said something. So I wasn't sitting there waiting like a, like a, like a, you know. Number, the next number is generic YouTuber intro slash subscribe begging in intro. Now I know, I understand why some YouTubers might not want an intro for their video because you saw the thumbnail, you clicked on it for a reason, but I, I, and as well as a lot of others, you know, I like having an intro because it feels like I'm saying hello to the viewer, like I'm addressing you, you know what I mean? Well, the thing that really gets me is when they're like, what is up guys, Epic Gamer 49 here, and today we're going to be playing more uh, Valorant or whatever, and uh, but before we get into the, the gameplay, make sure you like and subscribe and share and comment and hit the bell icon, and look at our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, most ambitious RPG project of 2019 and 2020, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? I don't know, I think you should save the subscription reel till the end. Because, you know, people do, I, I mean, like, I have a video I like, sometimes I don't think they'll like it until, you know, the end, when they're like, hey, if you like the video, like it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I did like the video. I don't know, maybe I'm just stupid. The next one is, oh, here's a big one that makes me mad, is when people call their teammates trash, bad, whatever, in a casual game. Do you know what I... Not everybody. I'm sorry to tell you this, ProGamer69 underscore XX420, whatever the hell your name is, FaZe Clan wannabe. I gotta tell you, not everybody has, you know, 10 plus hours a day to sit there and grind out and, you know, be God tier aim dude like whatever you are. Okay, I'm just trying to sit there and have fun. <laughs> that, that, that one got kind of personal. Alright, we're moving on. This one just says the number 13... Uh, but I wrote the one and the three. You're probably not going to be able to see that. I wrote them really close together, so it looks like B, so I was like, what the number B? But now, I'm not very superstitious. Like, you know, walk under a ladder or whatever, brick mirror or whatever, see a black cat, whatever. You know, four with clover or whatever. There's something about the number 13 bothers me. I don't know. Oh, yeah, here's another one. Now, you guys could probably tell... Uh, I like, I'm a, I'm a, not a huge fan of Star Wars, but I, I do really enjoy Star Wars movies and whatever, I, you know. And, you know, on my YouTube feed, sometimes I'll see videos like, Did Obi-Wan Kenobi use a forbidden Sith technique to defeat Anakin? Or, or something like, or like, was Emperor Palpatine's lightsaber, like, offensive to the Jedi Council? I'm like, well, I'm your average Star Wars fan, that sounds interesting. And you click on the video and I can tell you, if you see anything like that, it's not... It's boring. Save yourself the 10 minutes. I don't even know how they get 10 minutes of content out of it. It's always something stupid. Like, um... Like, for the Obi-Wan, for example, it's like where he cut off all three of his... Like, you know, three of his limbs at once. I don't know how you talk about that for 10 minutes, but they sure did. Anyway, this next one just says PCs. And for y'all who don't know, when I first got my gaming computer about a year ago, I had a bad graphics card. Except we didn't know it was a bad graphics card until about a year, and I tried everything. I switched from an HDMI cable to a fancy cable. I don't remember what's called. Display port. It's got a display port. And then after that, hold on, I gotta get some water. After that, I tried updating my drivers many a uh, many a time, and then I switched like some settings around. Nothing worked. Eventually, someone you know gave me a graphics card, and it started working. And I can play games now. But uh, not only that, I think they're more un like they're not very reliable. Like you know, I don't want to start the whole PC versus console thing. But all I'm saying is. A PlayStation was several hundred dollars cheaper and ain't never gave me no problems. Except that Skyrim likes to crash all the time, but that's whatever. Oh! What a convenient next point. It says, people who think console wars are still going on. Like, I really don't care what you do with your free time. That's just me. But, like, it's people like... Like, wow, you have an Xbox? 
what are you gay or vice versa it's, it's like I bought a PlayStation because my friends had PlayStations and I wanted to play Bloodborne you know I'm a pretty simple dude and people buy an Xbox because you know they got the game pass and that's pretty good it's just like who cares I don't this next one is left-handed tools and if you don't know, I'm left-handed, right? And something about left-handed tools seems pretty pointless to me. Like, have you ever seen left-handed scissors? No, I don't have any. I don't think I don't have these. I don't think I have any scissors on standby. Well, I can't show you, but if you just have a pair of scissors. Like right handed scissors and you just rotate them 180 degrees you know what you end up with scissors that you can use if you're left handed I don't know I do have a funny story however about I was in class one day and uh, it was I was in a group and um, uh, for the project we were doing we needed a screwdriver and while I'm left handed I looked at one of the group members and said hey uh, could you go fetch me a left handed screwdriver I kid you not, this guy was gone for like, I want to say about 5 to 10 minutes looking for one before he realized that there's no such thing. I thought that was really funny. Uh, and um, the last thing I have on this little bullet point here is temperatures, outside temperatures, or any temperature really, like ambient temperature. Uh, whatever, outside temperatures over 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright. Let me tell you some great things about winter. It's not hot as hell all the time. There's no ants or insects. I don't have to mow the yard. And I'm not, like, I, you can probably see, I have two fans in here. I don't even know what temperature it is. I have two fans in here. One of them over there, one of them over here. And it's still an inferno in my room. I'm sitting here sweating. Just, you know, it's bad. Oh, and uh, for all my European people, 72 degrees Fahrenheit is 295.372 Kelvin. With that being said, uh, in the comments below, comment some of the things that you don't particularly care for. And I'll see you all in the uh, next video.